This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Leah Hicks with me, one of our local artists. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. I'm very excited for the upcoming events and everything that's going on in Smith Falls today. Now you're a very well-known artist in the area too. What kind of art is it that you do? I do, uh, I call it 2D sculpture. What I do is take a fabric and a gauze and then I put layers of, of acrylic paint over it. And I, I, I do flowers and they turn out very nicely. And I, I love that, that you, you, you have names for each one of them too. So it, it must be oh, like an inspiration. It's important to name. Yeah, absolutely. It's important to name each piece. That's right. That's right. And now you're going to be sharing your skills and teaching people. You have a drawing workshop yourself you're going to be putting on. Yeah, I have a, a really great uh, drawing workshop. And uh, I'm going to start with the bases of the gradient scale techniques for drawing. I can have large shapes there for eye training and a, a collection of objects to draw uh, regarding negative and positive space and uh, uh, I'll be, we'll be doing a, a design, a uh, contemporary design with the drawings, and then we'll be following off with uh, flowers made out of charcoal. Excellent. So there's all sorts of things going on this day. <laughs> yeah, I know. Absolutely. So is this like an introduction to somebody who, who would want to learn to draw, or is this well, somebody who's a little skilled? It's somebody, it's either or, you can have, it's kind of an intermediate class. Uh, it's important to have a little bit of knowledge and some people are coming with just with a refresher because all the terminology and everything that will be taught is actually from a, a, a more advanced level of uh, teaching. Okay, and I do notice that your workshop, all the materials are included as well too. Oh, absolutely, for sure. You do. You all need to bring is yourself and uh, and your hands. Yeah, and that's why I was thinking if it's somebody that just you know wants to get the experience and and learn a little bit more, you can just show up. You don't have to have the supplies, and maybe the, you know you'll get hooked <laughs> and you'll you'll want to pursue it more. Well, yeah, like I, I'm hoping that because of having this foundation, that you'll be able to pursue it and develop it on their own. That's right. And I mean, it's being taught by yourself, too. And like I say, you're a well-known artist in the area, too. So I'm sure people will want to come out and just meet you and, and, and uh, learn from you. So you've got... I've been teaching... I'm oh, sorry. No, go ahead. You've been teaching? Yeah, I've been teaching for quite some time. So I, this is like during this class, I've done it a, a, a fair bit before. Um, I uh, was teaching it actually at Harmony Gallery in Swiss Falls. I don't know if you remember that gallery, but... Right. Mm -hmm. That's uh, really, I learned the, uh, how to teach them, teach it properly, inform the class and make it most effective. Excellent. And it's, once again, you know, when you've got a skill and you're sharing it with people, you just, you're not just, you know, you, just, you don't just sell your wares, you're sharing your skill with people to teach them. Uh, I think so. I think it's important to, you know, like you can only, I guess, you need to share with others. You can't, you, the more you teach the more i learn as well absolutely absolutely it's a wonderful way of putting it a wonderful way of putting it so often you see uh you know drawing workshops as a form of therapy as well too i'm sure oh it is and it's great to have a group setting because you get to communicate with new people and and learn from each other it's it's a lot better than learning it from the internet i find it's better to do it in real life Absolutely. I totally agree. Totally agree. So you've got one coming up in March, uh, March 4th, and that's one is in Smith Falls. And you've uh, partnered with the Craft Witch on Nine Russell East. Yes, absolutely. That's going to be great. Um, that one is, is uh, it's going to be the same. I, I'm doing the one in Carlton Place March 11th, and that one's actually almost full. So there's March 4th, and then I'll be having another class March 11th in Carlton Place as well. Okay, is it March 11th or February 11th? No, I'm doing two, one February 11th and one March 11th. Oh, wow, okay, okay. So one is yeah, coming up if you want to go to Carlton Place or you live in the Carlton Place area and then March 4th and then March 11th as well. Oh my goodness, yeah. so like people must have to register ahead of time? Yeah, they do, absolutely, Okay. For sure. And the fact that you have to keep having more, they must be filling up pretty quickly. 
Well, exactly. And I, I will be offering, I've been asked for a, from a lot of people if I'll be uh, offering kids classes. So I'm going to have a couple of kids classes as well. It's going to be different. It's going to be a lot of uh, color and a lot of fun, but I haven't uh, found the dates for that yet, as of yet. Okay, okay. Now you are also the president of the uh, Smith Falls and District Arts and Culture Council too. You've been doing that for four years. Yes, I have. Absolutely. It's a it's been quite the uh, the learning ex curve experience. We've gone through having a large amount of people to having barely any kind of people, and now we're growing. We're building it back up to having a large uh, group again. So it's really great. And I, I think the fact that you you, know, we, you get the information out there that when it's like an arts uh, council, you do so much more than just drawing too. You've got like jewelry makers in there, photographers all sorts of different pottery there's all yeah. sorts of different uh, avenues oh we try to include everybody every form of creativity uh, culture people uh, communication uh, the whole thing about bringing people together and you're bringing back an event that's i believe yeah. it's in uh yeah we're having the film oh oh no in march 18th you're bringing back an event everybody's gonna be looking forward to that one Right. Oh, we're having an actual at the Legion and it's going to be from one to three and it's called the fill bowl. And I don't, we've been doing it for about 10 years now and we're doing it a big dip, but, but a bit differently this year, we're getting a, uh, some of the restaurants to donate the soups and then you can have the option of buying the bowl or not. And it's only a $10 fee. I think, I believe it's $5 for children too. There's going to be a child, uh, a kid kind of play area and there's also going to be artists and artists and there as well. Excellent, excellent. Now your council itself, are you always looking for new members? Always. I, anybody can join. We, uh, it's only, it's $20 to join for a year and you're, you have the, the option of joining the board or just being a, an affiliate and with that, uh, there's a lot of opportunities that you can do uh, with the uh, the council. Okay. Do you meet monthly? Yeah, we meet monthly at the Heritage House Museum. Uh, right now, we're doing it every uh, fourth Wednesday at seven o'clock, and and it's downstairs. Excellent. And we, it's a really really quick meeting. We have we have so much to discuss, and it's like bang bang bang. Excellent, excellent. I mean, things are opening up this year. Events are, are, are happening again, too. So often we see the uh, Smith Falls District Arts and Culture Council at events, too. You've got a booth somewhere, and you're, you're just sharing each other's uh, skills and, and talents. Oh, absolutely. We, we try to we get involved with as many places that we can. So the, the next big event is March 18th, and it's called Fillable at the Smith Falls Legion? You got it. Excellent, excellent. Looking forward to that and your drawing workshops again. Let's tell the dates and how to register, how to get hold of you. Oh, you can just email me at art at leahicks.com if you want to register for the February 11th or the March 11th in Carlton Place or the March 4th in Smith Falls and the, the kids' classes will be, uh, to conti be continued. Excellent, excellent. All materials are included and it's just $100. Everything's included. Yeah, $100 flat. And that's everything's included. So it's a wonderful, wonderful learning experience to, to be taught by you, Leah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, uh, Leah Hicks, uh, one of our very popular local artists here in Smith Falls in the area, and also the president of our Smith Falls and District Arts and Culture Council. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much, Kathy.